I've done many US state battle royales before, but every game has something a little bit different about it. Why not see what it's like in this world war simulator, even though it's not technically a world war simulator, if it, just, never mind. As always, one of the favorites has got to be Texas here. They are always a really good state in these battle royales, but I'm not exactly sure if it's all about landmass, to be honest. I think it's important in this game, but it's not necessarily everything. I do believe places like Delaware, though, are going to get crushed instantly. Also, who's going to be able to tame the revolts because I'm sure there's going to be many civil wars when states start to get a lot more power. Statistically speaking, Texas is by far number one, and then it's California, then Montana in third. Didn't realize how much territory Montana had up here. And already the first war is between Idaho and Nevada. Meanwhile, Idaho just got an alliance with Montana, and the next war is between North Carolina and Tennessee. Connecticut was instantly conquered by New York, and meanwhile, Maine instantly conquered New Hampshire. A perfect Dakota alliance up here in the north. Of course, they were going to be friends. I should have known that. Oh, but there's a third member to this little faction. It's going to be Colorado. Now, of course, at some point, these friendships will break apart, but for now, it's going to keep them safe. It's actually called the Dakota Alliance that Colorado just joined. Interesting Pennsylvania and Virginia defensive pack here, and North Carolina has wiped out Tennessee. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this game is that once you take, like, their final capital city or whatever, their entire territory just explodes. So that is why Mississippi and Kentucky was able to get a little bit out of that, just kind of in the chaos, as you can see. Interesting that New Mexico has formed an alliance with a pretty much fake nation. I'm not sure if this is just going to be used as an intimidating tactic or what. And Idaho and Nevada just pieced out. Idaho just gave up. They're like, yeah, this isn't worth it anymore. Meanwhile, Washington and Oregon trying to unify the Cascadia region. My birth state of Alabama is battling Florida. Now, both of these have pretty crucial territory. Florida is in a tough spot. Unless they can move or maybe get into Georgia, I would imagine that Georgia is easily going to be able to take this from them. Finally, Texas is doing something against New Mexico, but is Wyoming involved? I don't think they are. They're actually too far away to do anything anyways. California has allied to Nevada. I like how um, the capitals are in their correct location. I mean, this is pretty much Sacramento. Also, the Carolinans just formed an alliance. They saw what the Dakotas were doing and they decided, yeah, I'm gonna do that too. The Dakotas now also have Oklahoma. Meanwhile, New Mexico's not looking good. They're probably forming this to, like, stop Texas because Texas is gonna be really unstoppable soon. We have Nevada versus Utah here. Meanwhile, kind of a mid- whoa, well, I was gonna say a Midwest alliance, but now Iowa and Minnesota going after Wisconsin. Now, now Idaho's going after Washington. Washington pieced out with Oregon. No one won that. Some of these wars are actually ending in some pretty bad stalemates. They're not bad, but, you know, evenly matched stalemates. And I cannot believe Wisconsin is holding their own. They're actually pushing into Minnesota. How is that happening? They're, are they fighting somebody else? They, they're they getting very dangerously close to this Minnesota capital. They got them. How is that possible? This is what I'm saying. Every game is going to provide something a little bit different. Now they're going to move in after Iowa. How powerful is Wisconsin here? Iowa has a better gold economy, I guess, but it's starting to trickle down. Wisconsin does have friends in Missouri and Illinois, though. They're not involved in the war, however. Kentucky just conquered West Virginia, but of course, Virginia got a lot out of that. So did Ohio. New York randomly joined the uh, Carolinan Alliance. Uh, so did uh, Delaware. Well, wow, I was so wrong. Delaware is somehow still here. That makes me look dumb. Already, these borders are getting so ugly out here. Alabama actually extended their control over the Gulf of Mexico. They pieced out with Florida. Now, Florida has even less territory. Georgia's trying to 1v1 the Carolinas. Also, so Wyoming was conquered out here. That's why these borders are so ugly. Iowa was saved, but now Wisconsin's going after the Dakotas. Is Wisconsin like some sort of secret military power that we didn't know about? Something about their cheese? Texas did not eliminate New Mexico completely. They did peace out. Meanwhile, now New York is going after... Ooh, New York just killed Rhode Island. Also New Jersey. I'm not sure when that happened. They're getting very close to taking out Massachusetts and Vermont. Yep, there they go. They both just went now. Did you attack Maine next or what? Look at these strange borders. Georgia took out South Carolina. Now they're just fighting North Carolina. Look at all these kills that New York just racked up. Michigan joined this Pennsylvania alliance with Virginia, and California and Nevada are wombo comboing Arizona, but it actually the front is not really moving. Oh, Nevada is splitting their, they're splitting their forces. They've got two fronts. They're also fighting Idaho. Oh, goodness, everyone's fighting Idaho. Montana's in on that too. This is like a, uh, it's not a world war, but it's not even a countrywide war because it's just the corner of the country. I don't know what this is. It's a regional conflict, but it's a big one. How does Oklahoma have this weird enclave inside of Texas? How, what did you, what did you do to get that? Finally, Texas has a friend. They're friends with Mississippi. Meanwhile, New York is, they were trying to fight Pennsylvania. They had to peace out because New York almost died. Oh, these borders are looking weird. What are these weird line borders? Look at Idaho go. I don't know how much Montana is helping them, but they are pushing into all three states' territory. California is also allied to Oregon. They're going to let their buddy just go down like this? Idaho just peaced out, but man, they got a lot of extra land out of this. Also, they're establishing cores now, and that provides them more gold. Maine and Georgia has just done that. Meanwhile, economic 
economically, the top state is actually Colorado. Texas is in second. And Idaho has the second biggest territory right now. No one's still close to Texas. Look at Iowa get surrounded again, but they, they might be okay. Once again, Georgia and North Carolina getting into it, but not much of the borders are moving, the territorial fronts. Or I take that back. It looks like Georgia's making some progress. Illinois was conquered by Iowa. Look at how huge Iowa is now. They're so thick. Clearly, I think everyone has a chance here. I really thought like the big states would just run away with it. Oh, when did Florida die? Wisconsin was also conquered by Iowa. Meanwhile, North Dakota versus Michigan. Michigan's been really quiet. Missouri conquered Kansas. Or wait, no. Kansas conquered uh, Missouri. And now uh, Oklahoma is gone. Montana, how are you doing this? How are you staying alive? And they pieced out. Okay, these uh, old borders out here in the West are, they're kind of going back to their old school days. You know how we didn't know how to draw borders back then? We were kind of just like giving them messes. Indiana almost dangerously close to falling to Ohio. It's going to be close. I don't know how California got this weird growth, but uh, something. Wow, Utah is, wow, Utah is obliterating Nevada right now. What is going on here, Nevada? They're not able to make much progress at all on Arizona. Wow, that was depressing. Nevada just collapsed instantly. Now, Oklahoma, uh, sorry, Oregon is taking out Washington, but you know what? Idaho got a lot out of that. We also have Delaware pushing into Pennsylvania. All right, this is going to be so fun. Okay, they pieced out. Is Delaware going to win this? Oh, and now they're dead. Uh, and Delaware got a lot out of that. Wait, what is that? Was that an uprising? I think that is. What the hell is that? Oh, that's Massachusetts. Yeah, Massachusetts just popped back out of Maine. I thought they got killed before. We've also just lost uh, South Dakota, as well as uh, Alabama, Kentucky. I don't even know. People, A lot of people are dying. Whoa, California died. Utah's taking over everyone now. Okay, there's we're down to maybe, maybe 10 states. More people are now dying. Ooh, who is this? Okay, we have Oregon, Montana, and uh, Utah out here. We have the Mormon Empire. Meanwhile, Colorado faces facing two fronts. They're definitely the next to die. Uh, yes, Cornhusker land. They're going to take more of this. Virginia, Colorado, Idaho, and Arizona are the latest deaths. Somehow North Carolina is still alive. They're getting a little bit of territory. Whoa, look at Ohio go. Dangers presented by Ohio. That reminds me of that meme map. Okay, wait, they expanded really fast and now their entire empire is collapsing around them. Delaware is also one of them that is <laughs> a part of this. They're, oh, they, they're going to peace out. They're going to survive for another day. Idaho or Indiana just popped up. So there are some revolts occurring. Texas is getting really big. Texas fighting three at once. They're going to take out Kansas and will they take out Nebraska too? Yes, they will probably do that unless they peace out right now. Nope, they're dead. Look at these borders. This is getting crazy. Massachusetts is actually getting pretty big over here in Maine. They're actually allied to Delaware. So Maine is safe. They just have to, what was that? Georgia revolt in Alabama was formed. North Carolina and Ohio were just conquered. Again, somehow Michigan is still alive with no friends too. Yeah, some of these countries are getting too big. So old states are popping back up like Florida and Alabama. Montana is expanding into all of their neighbors except for Texas. They peaced out. Arizona is back out of Utah. Georgia's trying their best to crush the Alabama rebellion. Sounds kind of cool. Uh, Iowa trying their best to fight three foes again. Wow. And look at Somehow Massachusetts has come back and they now have all of Maine. The problem is that they're not friends. I don't know if they're going to be cool with Delaware. And I don't know how, if they're going to be able to stand up to Delaware. Delaware has a much better economy. You can definitely see states get revived and make a comeback. Arizona for a second there looked like they were doing pretty good, but Utah's huge already. Iowa trying their best. They're actually pushing pretty deep into Texas right now. Look at that. Oh, wow. Texas is facing a huge coalition. Iowa pieced out with them, though. Now they have to fight Utah and Montana. Utah might have wasted a lot of their resources to crush Arizona, though. Look at these weird borders that Oregon has. Yeah, see, Massachusetts was not going to be cool with Delaware. They're now fighting each other. Georgia was able to crush uh, Alabama, but not Florida. Also, West Virginia is now here. Oh, Utah will, I think, get very close to taking out Arizona. I didn't know this was possible. There was a unification that just took place between Montana and North Dakota. So are we going to see more of that? Montana's looking huge. Also, Texas is facing a rebellion from Colorado. Oh, that's been crushed instantly. Huge three revolts in Iowa. And with these revolts now, Texas has declared war in Iowa. These states have really disliked Iowa for a long time. And wow, look at Illinois go. Oh, this is this is unfair. This is too crazy. Iowa, come on. They were, they were like the underdogs. Everyone just wants to keep them down, I guess. Maybe not as big of underdogs as Delaware. Now, West Virginia, who's been revived, is looking like they might take out Delaware. These are some interesting alliances that are going on with Texas, still cool with Louisiana and Georgia, also Illinois. Uh, the only friend that Utah has is Montana. Oh, actually, they have Oregon, but they can't do much over here. Holy crap, Texas is going for it here. They're moving really far into Montana. There is a peace deal, though. Texas just got a great alliance. And Utah is still trying to take out Arizona. Boom, we have a death uh, from Illinois. We also have another death. Ohio, again destroyed. Oh, oh, West Virginia has just, oh, they almost completely collapsed. Gotta worry about this Massachusetts. 
Massachusetts, though, behind. I'm kind of rooting for Delaware because I think it'd be funny if they win. Oh, okay. We have a death from North Carolina. Delaware is so close. They're just barely holding on. They're fighting two fronts at once. They've peaced out. And now the war has started up back again. Montana has abandoned the Oregon Alliance. Why did you do that? You, you don't have any friends. Texas actually lost an ally. Oh, my goodness. Here goes Delaware. They're friends with Michigan. And Delaware has taken out Massachusetts. I thought both were kind of cool. I liked that Massachusetts had revived and then killed off Maine. But this is pretty epic. The thing is, Delaware needs a better friend. Michigan is not enough. Uh, although Michigan has been able to hold back Montana. Oh, wow. Because... Utah and Montana have broken their alliance. They're now fighting with each other. And there goes Louisiana. They're now dead. There was a nice, like, partition with Georgia, too. Let's see if Georgia can maybe finally take out the Delaware Empire. I wonder if it helps that their, like, capital city is kind of safely hidden away back here. That might be the case. Now, there's two people going after Montana. If Texas joins in... Oh, Texas is now finally trying to get rid of Arizona. Arizona has just been such a thorn. Oh, that actually really helps out Utah. And now Montana's moving in after Texas. What a crazy last couple wars there are... There's six nations left. Everyone now fighting Montana. Meanwhile, these two are fighting over here. We're slowly seeing the collapse of Michigan. Oh, and with, oh my goodness, yes. And now Georgia too just got a bunch of land. I think it is safe to say who's probably going to win this unless some miracle takes place with the alliance that goes on between uh, Montana and Utah. So, oh, this, oh, you gotta, you gotta ditch that. Georgia's gonna have to ditch that, and they're gonna have to all fight Texas right now because they're just too huge. Somehow, Utah and Montana are actually pushing, though. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, my goodness. They, they might have heard me. The problem is, now fighting three, Texas is prepared. How did they know that this was gonna happen? So, th it, this is gonna be probably a fight to the death. Either these three win, or Texas takes the victory. It's just like constant war back and forth. Can Texas economy handle this? They're, they're, they're at zero. They just dropped to zero. They could not afford the constant war. And now, boom. Now, who comes out on top here? Okay, it's clearly going to be... <laughs> they have to break the alliances, first of all. Montana is probably dead. Oh, well, yeah, you guys just allied to... That's not even fair. That's not nice, guys. Well, maybe it is nice. I mean, Montana... Do they have, like, a lot of money right here? They have 5,000 gold versus Utah, who's at zero. They spent too much money. Wow, I did not expect that at all. How much money do you have? 1,000 here in Georgia versus... Does Montana have the most money? They do technically right now, but they don't have the most territory. I don't really know what happens. Montana just has gold on their side, but uh, they're both the same age, and obviously Georgia's way bigger. Is this it? Did they just run out, or can they peace out? I think Georgia just ran out of cash. Georgia ran out of cash, and that means that they're not... Oh, they did get a peace deal. Montana is probably not going to run out of cash as much. Yep, yeah, it's over. I cannot believe we have Montana winning this. There might be one more war, but I mean, if you don't have the money to keep sustaining it, this is your last chance. I don't even know. You just gotta let it keep ticking up as much as possible. And there it is. They, uh, they're, they're gonna win. Wait, maybe not. It's a wait for it to tick down all the way and then, okay. They're moving their capital back. They're doing scorched earth. They're just scorching through the Midwest, burning down the deep south so that they can hopefully keep. It's too late though. We have a Montana victory. I don't think I've ever had a U.S. state battle royale where Montana wins, but look at that glorious empire right there. By the way, a Montana that holds their capital in the uh, Oregon state. Don't ask me about how that happened. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023. The Polish, Lithuanian, Quinn, Commonwealth, Taylor, Portugal John, is Denver, not Balkans, Good old Ryan, Iowa, Iowa, Barbados, Drew, if you don't Ball, come to Crackout Drews, Poland, I will find you. Grandpa, $20 a is a lot, Drew. Why am I Taylor doing this? Drew does every boy for $20. Jack Draven's annoying friend, Robert Rush, the Mexican 760, 